meeting uh, the order. Uh, Councilman uh, Poindexter, can you do the invocation, please? Thank you. And the energy and strength to be able to continue serving, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Cody. Shelly, can you do the roll call, please? Yes, sir. Joshua Sam. Here. Kevin Easley. Here. Sasha Black Fox Qualls. Danny Callison. Here. Julia Coates. Here. Joe Deere. Here. Mike Dobbins. Lisa Hall. Here. Johnny Kidwell. Here. Daryl Legg. Here. Dora Petskowski. Here. Cody Poindexter. Here. Mike Shambaugh. Here. Melvina Shot Pouch. Here. E.O. Smith. Here. Condessa Tihi. Here. Victoria Vesquez. Here. We have a quorum. All right, thank you, Shelley. Um, has everyone had a chance to uh, review the minutes from the February 29th, 2024 regular session meeting? I'll take a yeah, motion and a second. All in favor? Any opposition? All right, motion passes. All right, let's jump into reports. We have uh, Mr. Chuck Garrett with CMB. First up. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Chairman. Thank you. Uh, Good to be here with you today. I just came uh, from our CMB board meeting earlier this morning and uh, had a lot of uh, good, good reporting to do, good discussion around your businesses. And uh, you know, last month I was here and I, uh, I had a little bit more of a sobering report. You know, it was uh, we were solid in a lot of respects, but uh, our gaming business had taken a little hit, had a couple of weekends that uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday that had some weather, you know, and, and uh, as they say, you know, we, we know we're going to have some weather in the, in, in January in Oklahoma. You just don't, you hope that it's not on a Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, you know, it's uh, that Monday, Tuesday you can deal with, but, uh, but February was great. Uh, we were strong on both of our businesses. Um, in fact, uh, just to, Throw a couple of numbers around at you. Uh, we we had so now we're at our halfway point for the year, at the end of at the end of the month. So far, we're twenty percent over our year uh, to date revenues over our budget. Um, Sixteen percent on net income uh, over our budget. Um, so what we're seeing is is really. Uh, a strong, strong February, you know, in addition to uh, some of the, the strong early fall numbers. So we're looking uh, year over year, very positive, year over budget or uh, uh, actuals over budget, also very positive. Um, our federal contracting unit uh, just passed the $1 billion contracting wins for the year. So six months into the year, the fiscal year, they've hit a billion dollars in contract wins. Now, let me put that in perspective for you. Uh, last year total, just over a billion. Um, uh, in years past, that was always kind of the goal. Now we're six months into it and we've hit that number. So we're 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 really really excited about the progress that they've made. Uh, now that will you know that tra doesn't translate into revenue immediately. Obviously, that's over the course of a three to five year contract. But um, I think what it does say is that our business development efforts are um, are wor are working. Our team is you know right on track. With their customers, and we're, we have the capabilities that the federal government needs. So, very excited about that. Um, you know, on 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 the other, just on the other business unit, uh, you know, what we're seeing too is is the Tunica property, Gold Strike, hitting its stride. Uh, good expense management around that business as well good expense management at CMB in general. And I think that's important, uh, especially, you know, inflation's still out there. There's still some headwinds on a macro uh, economic basis. Uh, so I'm just real proud of where we're at at this point in the year and 
I think the next six months will, there's no reason to believe we'll, uh, we'll um, fade in, in any respect. Uh, 10,079 employees at the, at the end of the month. Uh, of that number, 3,832 positions we can exercise uh, preference. You know, last time I reported to you, we had our HR team here. We were distinguishing between the positions that we can exercise uh, preference and those that we can't. Uh, but of those 3,832 positions, 60% are Cherokee citizens, 67% are um, total native uh, employment. Uh, so those numbers um, I'm pleased with, but as we explained last time, you know we're, we're, we want to do better. We want, we want to have higher numbers. Um, we're doing everything we know to do. Um, you guys heard some of our strategies. Uh, you know, I'm gonna call away if you guys ever have some other thoughts that you want to share and some other ideas, um, I certainly am welcome, uh, welcome those. I wanted to update you on Arkansas. Um, you know, crazy, twisty, turny um, uh, path here. Uh, good news, we had some re-elections for the legislative body in Pope County. Uh, if you'll remember, those are the individuals that have uh, pledged their support to us, the resolutions that they've passed. The judge has also written the letter of support. Uh, so all of our friends got reelected. Uh, that's good news for us. Uh, the next week, last week, uh, the Attorney General for the state of Arkansas approved language for a statewide question that would allow the license for Pope County to be removed uh, removed from the Constitution. So in other words, uh, there would be no casino license in Pope County. Now, where do we stand? Uh, what that requires now is for the group running that state question to get 90,000 signatures statewide. That's not easy. We did it um, you know, when we ran um, the Amendment 100, um, but it's a very tall order. Um, they tried two years ago, they failed. Uh, I think they'll fail again. Um, it's just a, it's a very hard hurdle to hit. Uh, if they are successful in ob obtaining those signatures, and getting the question on the ballot, then they have to run a campaign to get the majority of the votes uh, to support that. The governor is running three uh, anti, there, there are four ballot measures that are being proposed. The governor opposes, she's not taking a position on the casino issue, she's opposing the other three. So she's running a, a decline to sign campaign. Um, we're, we're supporting that and, and you know, uh, communicating to the, to the voters that, you know, the casino measure doesn't need to, need to pass either. And we think the popular opinion from the polling we've done uh, indicates that uh, the majority of the voters do not want to remove the casino license from Pope County, that there's too much economic development, the thousand jobs that we're gonna create, the tax base that we're gonna create uh, is, is attractive, and people understand that now. So I feel like uh, I wanted to share that with you because you know, you'll hear more discussion about it, but um, I really feel that we're still in very good shape. I still think it's a win, not an if, and uh, you know, happy to answer any questions. Do we have any questions? I'm just going to go back to your 8A. Are you, mm -hmm. out of that $1 billion, are you still getting set-asides versus the bid jobs? Great question. Thank you for that. Uh, yes, but uh, I will tell you the reason we're able to hit that number this early in the year is because we're 
getting more business outside of the 8A. Mm -hmm. You know, the 8A business is a very profitable business, it's a good business, and we are leaning into it as we always have. But what we've done over time is build capabilities that are competitive with the biggest federal contractors in, in the country. And, you know, we talk about some of the intelligence work we do, some of the cyber work that we do. Most of that is not 8A business. And so that's, that's why we're, you know, basically the market's, uh, it's a bigger market and we're capturing, you know, uh, more than our share of it. That's why I was wondering what the diversity was on the bids. Y yeah. I know there's some that are different. There's some JVs or some set-asides when you run through that process. Right. Um, and actually, uh, most of our business now is, is, is not, um, not an 8A, not a, you know, set-aside. Right. Okay. So it's competitive. Uh, so Appreciate it's a, it. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Councilman Kidwell. Uh, Mr. Garrett, thanks for being here today. Pr pleasure. Appreciate the update. This the the one billion number, that that's big. I mean, I people I hope people understand exactly how uh, how important that is to, to see our that side grow as, as well as it's growing. I, if if I could do if I could make one comment as well, I was lucky enough to be able to hop on one of the uh, Cherokee Federal uh, HR meetings mm -hmm. uh, not too long ago, maybe maybe two weeks ago. I just want to offer my uh, my kudos, if you would, if this could trickle down to them, uh, Heather Mathias and uh, Claire Kornmeyer and those folks who have, who really, man, there was probably about 50 recruiters, Cherokee Federal recruiters, I got on there and talked to them about what the council does and, and uh, you know, how we want, you know, uh, Cherokee citizens working for the tribe and and you know, working for their companies, so they were they were very receptive. Uh, had had uh, had a few good questions, and it was really neat to to touch base with them and and see how they do their work. And uh, you know, they span all across uh, the United States, and right. and we we've got uh, citizens everywhere. But if you would let that trickle down to them, I, I would appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Oh, I I will definitely do that. And thanks for taking the time to 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 meet with them. I know that meant a lot to them, and that's a great group of people that you that you were interacting with there so i appreciate that i will make certain that they, they they hear that comment all right do we have any other questions comments it doesn't look like it. thank all you right. sir my pleasure happy easter hope you all enjoy the long weekend you too all right let's move on over treasurer janice taylor with the treasurer's report I apologize for not getting our regular report in in time to um, get in the book. All hands are on deck in my office uh, getting our um, FY23 audit done and out. It will probably be out hopefully this afternoon. It may be uh, tomorrow before we get it done, though. Um, we did get notified that... We once again won the Government Finance Officers Award for financial reporting for our FY22 annual comprehensive report. And we were waiting for that because we like to put it in every year's audit that we hand out. And I should have checked this before I left. That's either 21 or 22 years running that we have gotten that award. So um, the finance staff is just killing it over there. We look at every audit as an opportunity to make ourselves better, to make our financial reporting more transparent. And these awards that are recognized by this outside entity that only looks at government reporting, um, giving us that, that verification that, yes, we are doing uh, what we need to be doing to um, be completely open and transparent is just further validation. So I'll take any questions that anybody has. All right. Do we have any questions for Treasurer Taylor? Speaker? Not a question, just a comment. Um, congratulations, that's quite an accomplishment again. You guys do an awesome job. Thank you. Yeah, they're a great team. Okay. All right. Thank you guys you. know where I am. You got, your, got my number. Call me anytime. All right, let's move on over to Career Services with Miss Diane Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon. And I too would like to wish everybody a happy Easter and enjoy your long weekend. And get a lot of rest and come back prepared to do business for the Cherokee people. Uh, you have my report. It is a little lengthy. Uh, 
several people didn't get their stuff in in last month, so they wanted to put it in for this month. I think now my uh, directors are wanting to really spotlight their programs. This is the time of the year from about February up through uh, Labor Day weekend. We have a lot of activities going on, so that's one of the reasons why we have a lot of pictures in this, this month's uh, report. George Roach, who was our youth director, wanted to make wanted me to make sure that I told you that they have actually started taking applications for the summer youth, uh, for the summer career ready, oh, I can't even get the name of it now. <laughs> anyway, it's our summer programs, it's our employment programs. And uh, he's very busy working on that and he did an event um, this past week up in uh, Mays County with our TANF students and uh, I think it was a success, they had a good turnout. Uh, since he has become our youth director, he not only does our summer employment programs, but he's also doing the TANF youth piece, which was written into our TANF grants when we uh, implemented it. And for about a year or two, we weren't doing anything. So when we got him on board, I said, that's one of the areas that you'll be working in. And it has been very uh, gratifying to see a lot of these uh, TANF kids come out and participate. Uh, he plans to do uh, activities for the TANF kids during spring break and fall break, and he'll probably do some other things in the summer. But uh, appreciate uh, everybody's support. I think some of you all have come out and uh, participated and came out and seen all of our families and our kids. Uh, I think the report is very uh, lengthy. It tells you some of the things they're doing uh, in all of the different areas from... Uh, I think the one area we may have missed was reentry, but we do have a reentry client uh, profile in here. Are there any questions? Do we, Danny? Not a question, Ms. Kelly, but I've got to attend your uh, your cultivating Cherokee traditions at the uh, Mid American Industrial Park uh -huh. at their expo last Wednesday with my granddaughter. We made our first basket, and it took two of us to make it. <laughs> I promise you, uh, and it was. It was pretty, I guess. <laughs> of course, with, it with was the help, your granddaughter. She, yeah, I mean, you know, she was handed to me, and Counselor Deer was there with us, and with his grandson, and we were, you know, we were really trying to, but but it, it was it was a, a great thing. I mean, the marbles, uh, Captain America, uh, your wildfire team was there. You know, Smokey the Bear showed up. Uh, they had plenty of pizza for everybody to eat, and uh, I, I just wanted to thank your staff because they've done an outstanding job. Thank you, thank you. We, we, uh, I'm glad you mentioned the Wildland Fire Program. They have a safety fair that's been scheduled for quite some time. It will be uh, in April. It will be April the 26th. It's on a Friday. It'll be over here at One Fire Field, and uh, they will have participation from our health department, our risk management, and some of the local fire departments will be out there. And I think Smokey's coming too, so. And the BIA uh, Wildland Group, so. Uh, if you're in the area on the 20, should I say the 26th? Anyway, if you're in the area and you see them out there at one fire field, that's what it's all about. Uh, Victoria? Uh, not a question, just I'd like to speak with you after. I have a quick question. Okay. Thank you, good. Diane. Okay. Condessa? Um, not a question either. I just wanted to extend a deep and heartfelt thank you to uh, the Job Corps staff and to the students. It was a really wonderful event to take part in during Women's History Month to, to be there talking about kind of the, the importance of, of female leadership in, um, in, in Cherokee communities. And the students were absolutely delightful. The lunch was really wonderful. Thank you. And um, the the staff as a whole, you know, whether it's um, Deborah, Daisha, um, everybody there, everybody there at the facility was just incredibly warm, welcoming, and inviting. The hospitality just unmatched, and it was a it was a wonderful environment to be in and to speak with the youth. So thank just, you. I apologize. Thank you. Uh, I had a Department of Labor. Uh, call going on over here so I said Steph get over there and take care of this for me um, I had heard Tara Lee speak about her car and her masking tape that she had to put on it back when she was growing up and I said get Tara Lee and her some of those council ladies over there to talk to these kids and let these kids hear from them because they need to see role models and they need to see where they can go once they leave the job course center because uh, 
some of these kids, I've been at an airport, I've been at a mall, and these kids will come running down the hall, and they'll say, Miss Kelly, Miss Kelly, do you remember me? I was at Job Corps. I did this, I did that. Guess what I'm doing now? And it's very gratifying to hear some of their testimonials. And I just am so thankful that we have good role models, such as you all, that can go over and talk to these kids. Thank you so much. Joe? I'm just going to follow up on Callison. So patience would be a good word when we were at that event for your workers. <laughs> <laughs> and I think me and Danny both were sort of excited because he was like, is that basket supposed to look like that? And I looked at him. <laughs> I said, well, it's still Cherokee art. Because you did it, and your granddaughter did it. <laughs> I said, but I don't know if it's supposed to go like this. And uh, but the ladies helping us, they they were really patient, you know, with the kids. I mean, I mean, I think the pizza helped. But you know, I told Danny, you can always sell it on eBay as Cherokee art, and it's it's one of a kind. Yes, it so is. So I don't I don't know if he could reinvent that one. But th those guys were really great with the patience they had. You know, the Captain America and the people walking around because you had different ages of kids. Yes. And I think they really appreciated that. Thank you. So, yeah, go back to them. So it was really good. No, everybody was having a great time, you know. And I think that was good because it was spring break. And, you know, they made the corn husk dolls. And it was, it was great. It was a good time. So I had fun. Thank you. So, thank you. Yeah, I think we embrace anything that our kids or our grandkids bring home, and we tell them how wonderful it looks or how pretty. I remember my son came home from kindergarten, and he, he had a purple turkey. And to him, that turkey looked purple because of the feathers, and I still have it hanging on my wall in my house <laughs> today. Thank you. Right, thank you. All right, let's move. Oh, EO has one. Just yes, real quick on the, on the summer youth, are we going to have the same numbers as last year or are you expecting to be bigger? Or? Well, I will tell you this. We have a new uh, TANF director. Her name is Denise Honawa. And Denise met with us last week when we were working on the numbers. She's going to have some of our TANF kids in the summer program. So we're looking at 1,000 plus. We don't know exactly what the number's going to be. But what we did is we allocated so many slots per office. And when we get to that number in each office, we'll check the other offices. And we'll be doing this on a weekly basis. So if they're not filling them, then we will prorate those slots back out. But we can't go over our budget, so yeah. we're going to make sure that we stay within our budget. But right now, that's what we're looking at. All right. Thank you. No more questions, comments? All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the call marsh department with Miss Hannah Knight. Good afternoon. So you have a copy of my report, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. We're right in the middle of um, working on the details for the holiday this year. We're still in tax season. So, and we've already almost obligated as many loans this fiscal year as we made all of last year, commercial loans. So anyhow, I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. All right. Do we have any questions for Anna? All right. Doesn't look like it. All Thank right. you. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's uh, move on down to consent items. Has everyone had a chance to review those? I will say on the recertifications, there was a slight change on the one for Cherokee termite and pest control. The owner had passed away in February, so they just corrected the New owner is just his grandson, so it stayed 100% Cherokee owned there. So just that one small correction. Do you have anything for us, Jody? Uh, yes, I, I was going to add that uh, on the, the motor vehicle tax on the roads projects, which you did pass the budget last month, so each of you got the 246990 allocation. But uh, that reconciliation allocation one time that I had mentioned last month, uh, each of you get 53698 so that's additional motor vehicle tax roads money for you. No. And I, I'm going to follow up on uh, the uh, one-of-a-kind basket. Uh, my parents worked for an auction company part-time, and they they brought up a print at the auction, and, and he was saying it's a one-of-a-kind Everything and he goes it kind of disregard the 252 of 5,000 because it's pretty ugly I suspect all the others have been thrown away. So it's a one of a kind now so. <laughs> All right, do we have any questions on the consent items? All right, 
it looks like we're good let's move on down to old business and unpending new business uh councilman easily can you take that first one for us yes sir <clears throat> this is an act amending legislative act number 22-23 authorizing the comprehensive operating budget for fiscal year 2024 mod 5 declaring an emergency put this in the form of a motion all right i have a motion and a second uh do we have any discussion on this item all right uh, all in favor, say aye. Uh, Any opposition? All right, motion passes. All right, let's uh, move on down to the announcements. Next meeting is tentatively scheduled for Thursday, April 25th at 3 p.m. Okay. Just real quick about community meeting April 11th at Vi, and that's on the second Thursday in April. Invite everybody to come eat with us. It starts at 6 o'clock, April 11th. Thank you. All right. Speaker? Well, I just had a comment on that basket. Joe Deere and Dal Callison basket weaving deal. I heard it was like a, a scene out of the movie Ghost. That's all I heard of. <laughs> all right. Need one more motion? Motion to adjourn. Got a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposition? All right, we're adjourned.